It's Air Force New Year's Eve 2016. Starring Don Ferguson, Luba Goy, Craig Lozon, Aisha Alpha, Daryl Hines, Emma Hunter, and Jessica Holmes. With guest stars Yannick Bisson, Ron McLean, Peter Mansbridge, and Christine Sinclair. It's Air Force New Year's Eve. My presidency is gonna be huge. <laughs> Abe, why the long face? <laughs> we are gonna drain that swamp and make America great again. Hello, Donald. Oh, hello, President Kenya. I can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, President-elect Trump, <laughs> uh, welcome uh, to the Oval Office. I don't like oval circles. They remind me of Rosie O'Donnell. This goes without saying, but uh, being president is the toughest job you'll ever face. Hold that thought. All right. Hello? Yes? Not a problem. I love you too. Mm -hmm. Melania? Putin. Hello, President-elect Trump. First chick Obama. <clears throat> I thought I was meeting your wife. Right. Melania. <laughs> Next time, darling, you must drill air holes for me. Mrs. Trump, while in office, first ladies always champion a cause. Mine was ending childhood obesity. What will yours be? I want to be advocate on behalf of all girls everywhere, so every girl will get their own high heel shoesy. And that's it. Beautiful. Michelle Zis, you are a huge inspiration to me. <laughs> I knew that when you plagiarized my speech at the Republican convention. But that's in the past. But that is in the past. Let us look towards the future. Let us look towards the future. Let me give you a, Let a me tour. Let me give you a tour. She is a genius. Donald, uh, can I be straight with you? There are a few things that we... we... What is that? I am building a wall around the Rose Garden to keep all the Mexican gardeners out. Okay, when you take office, it is tradition that uh, your first foreign visit uh, be to Canada. I love Canada. I used to date her. I want to grab her by the Regina. <laughs> Although Trudeau better not stand in my way because I have my finger on the nuclear button. Wow, uh, Donald, your fingers really do look like uh, little baby carrots. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> You are unbelievable. You are a disgrace to this office, and you haven't even started yet. I, I'm sorry, did you say something? I was tweeting. God help America. Coming soon to Netflix, the successful version of Show Me. It's the sequel to Stranger Things. Son. If you can hear me, blink the lights once for yes, twice for no. Do you understand? Good. Good, sweetie. That's good. Now, Will, I need to ask you a very important question. Do you know where I left my smokes? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you? Talk to me. Shh. Last time I buy a Samsung. <laughs> Suffering succotash. Will's mom sir likes Christmas lights. What's Christmas? Christmas. The birth of Jesus Christ. The Messiah. Thief. What's that on the wall? Do you like it? I got the idea on Pinterest. The lights let me talk to Will. And people think I'm weird. <sighs> oh, that's weird. Mm. Well, where are you? See? That's good, baby. That's good. A N A 
D A Canada. Oh, what's that like? Cold as F U. I do not care what dimension you are in. You watch your language. Mrs. Barnes, I know where Will is. He's in an upside down world. It's a place where nothing makes any sense. You know, all of your teeth are gone. They're 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 all gone. I've never seen that before. Will, what should I do? Clinton? Oh my God, I made it out. I was trapped in a universe where deplorables reign supreme. And worst of all, Americans elected Donald Trump as president. Actually... Mrs. Clinton, there's really no easy way to tell you this. Yeah, it's 1983, so you still have to wait another 37 years before you can run again. Are you kidding me? It's even stranger thing. for Mr. Galen Weston. Found him. You must be Miss Warner from the Ministry of Health. Oh. Welcome to the Loblaws Research and Development Laboratory. Uh -huh. Care for a healthy President's Choice bacon wrapped sweet sriracha shrimp? Hmm. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. What's the secret ingredient? Well, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, it's weed. <clears throat> I excuse me? In 2017, <laughs> I want all of the Loblaws brands, including President's Choice, Shoppers Drug Mart, to be licensed medical marijuana producers. Meet the head of research, Donnie Deansman. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, man. I was just testing my latest creation Memories of Snoop Dogg Brownies. <laughs> 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 oh. Have you done any research? We examined why Colorado has been so successful with marijuana legalization. Oh, yeah, man. I've already taken like five trips there this year. Ah, check out my phone pics. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie, that's a cucumber. No. Whoa! Oh, oh, no wonder my roaming charges were so low. <laughs> <laughs> I do have the photos, though, Donnie. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. Here I am talking to an advocate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here I am talking to a state trooper. <laughs> and here I am talking to the governor of Colorado. <laughs> oh, that dude is hairy. <laughs> that dude is a buffalo. No, I wasn't in Buffalo. I was in Colorado. <laughs> Are you high, man? <laughs> One of the government's greatest concerns is that marijuana not be sold to minors. We have already thought of a foolproof method to make sure kids aren't sold pot. Oh, yeah. Oh, check this out. Oh. All right. You got to be this high to be high. Oh. oh. Sorry, little dude. Too low. Uh, yeah. Oh, all right. A little bud for my bud. <laughs> Smoke away. <laughs> Mr. Weston, your request is denied. Oh, what a bummer. We could have raised hundreds of millions of dollars in tax revenues. Oh, approved, approved. It's approved. You're a genius, Donnie. Oh, I'm a genius? <laughs> I'm gonna call my mom, <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's time to party. Oh my God, is that who I think it is? Your PM is here. Justin, you worry more about your public image than the country. Shouldn't she be at work, 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 work? Just you should work, 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 work. All he does is twerk, 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 twerk. Why isn't he at work, 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 work? Posing for a big, 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 big. He never wears a shirt, 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 shirt. 
Justin, listen, please. Don't be a media leech. No more photo bombs on the beach. No. If I get another chance to, I may never ever reelect you. I just hope that you see my need. I hope that you hear me plead. Justin, please legalize we. <laughs> Yeah, okay, you need to bring your ego down, 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 bring it down. You just need to slow your mouth. Don't know what the hell you're saying. Want to sing me too. My wife Sophie's voice will amaze you. Some people die. Mm -hmm. Their angels fly. Mm -hmm. Some people fight without knowing why. You've been PM for a year, 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 year. You travel far, you never hear, 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 hear. Why leave Canada? It's got great beer, 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 beer. I already work, 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 work the economy. I made a gender balance cabinet, still trying with the budget. Oh, our environment, I'll save it. And I'll start by composting Hamilton. Yeah. Now all we need to do is work, 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 work. Together we will work, 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 work. Now we will work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. And gonna be the work, work, work. And we gonna work, 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 work. Would everybody vote? More for me. Coming up next, Christine Sinclair. CPAC presents Canada's holier than thou political correspondent, Sister Bessie. That's right! I'm back! I took a vow of silence, but 2016 was so crazy, even I couldn't keep me trap shut! Plus, I want to promote me new fashion design, the Nankini! <laughs> Okay, remember the sergeant at arms hero, Kevin Vickers? He's now Canada's ambassador to Ireland. Check out what happened when an Irish protester rushed the podium. I, uh, get, get up. You don't want to mess with him. Just today, Kevin taught the Lucky Charms leprechaun not to steal his cereal. <laughs> This year, newly minted Speaker of the House, Jeff Regan, tried to crack down on heckling and rudeness in Parliament. I will not tolerate heckling. We don't need it. Hey, with a scolding like that, I'm sure the MPs will be much more respectful of one another. Why does this government treat Alberta like a fart in the room? I heard her say a word that I know is distinctly unparliamentary, and I think she may want to withdraw it. The word was F-A-R-T. <laughs> in it both ends. <laughs> Justin Trudeau had a fun-filled year. Seems the lad has a bit of a temper. There's Justin. He looks really determined. I hope he slows down. Oh, no, no. And he's going to... Oh! A direct whack to the memories. Speaking of boobs, this past May, Stephen Harper said his final goodbye at the Conservative Convention. This country must stand for something in the world. Too bad he didn't stand up for the CBC. <laughs> then there's poor little Tommy Mulcair at the NDP leadership convention in April. 52% voted to replace him. This was his reaction. This is complete and utter BS. <laughs> BS? Broken socialism? <laughs> so what else has Tom Tom been up to? We stopped uh, talks to some folks at an A&W. Now I know why Thomas wants to raise the minimum wage. <laughs> so have yourself a chaste 2017. And should we find our MPs still acting bad in Ottawa, no, they'll have to answer to a higher power. <laughs> Works for me. At this summer's Major League Baseball All-Star Game, Canadian tenor Remigio Pereira changed the lyrics of our national anthem. He was immediately fired, and auditions were held to replace him. I'm going to sing O Canada the way good old Johnny A wrote it. The Canadian anthem was written by Adolphe Basile Routier. 
Oh, you saying some Quee Becker wrote Oh Canada? Well, <laughs> I got a lot to say about that. How much time we got left? Hey, I'm Nelly Furtado, and this is my flautist. <laughs> okay. My fans loved when I sang the national anthem at the NBA All-Star Game. Twitter described your performance as sounding like having hemorrhoids in your ears than having a cat use those hemorrhoids as a scratching post. <laughs> my mom's hilarious. <laughs> Remigio Pereira? Aren't you the tenor we're trying to replace? I've learned my lesson. I promise never to use the tenors as a political platform again. Fine. Oh, Canada, all lives matter. Y you're doing it again. The earth is flat. The moon landing was fake. And you are still fired. Down here. Colin Kaepernick, why do you want to sing the Canadian National Anthem? I think because ultimately it's a tune of tolerance, you know, it's a melody of multiculturalism. It's a ballad of a patchwork quilt known as Canada, a nation that would never treat a certain section of its population differently or unfairly or... What? <laughs> it took them 40 years to open an inquiry? Man, I'm out. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sorry, Canada. Your Majesty. You have my morning briefing. First, there was Brexit. Now there's a new, even more dangerous uprising, Rexit. Isn't that the Canadian pharmacy that sells Charles his little blue pills? <laughs> That's Rexall, Mum. Rexit means royal exit. Balderdash. The monarchy has nothing to fear. Brexit was fueled by angry, oppressed subjects that felt marginalised by a privileged ruling elite. <laughs> Oh, bugger. <laughs> to ensure the monarchy's survival, we must bolster your image. We need to associate you with someone whom the public adores. Oh, excellent thought. I'll call Adele. We work out together at Curves. Yeah. I meant the Duchess of Cambridge. Kate? I highly doubt that she's more popular than me. I'll prove it. <clears throat> him, him, him. What up, queenie bitch? I have a question for you. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the most popular... Kate. Ro Kate. <laughs> Hello, royal grandmama. I was just waiting outside, hoping you would call me in so we can bond and do regal things together and have so much fun. Yay! <laughs> they do, Miss Diana. Do you like my new dress? It's really royal looking. Oh, look, T. It's Earl Grey. Perchance a distant relative, Kathy. <laughs> Kate, dear. To ensure the future of the monarchy, we must quash this Rexit revolt. I have a splendid idea. Since you've been the monarch for 64 years, maybe it's time to think retirement. I could never give up my royal duties. Oh, although I'm not as spry as I used to be. And not as perky. Mirror one more comment like that, I'll put you in Camilla's bathroom. <laughs> Super gross. <laughs> royal Grandmama. Prince William and I are ready to help. We do so enjoy travelling the world. Our trip to Whitehorse this year was very educational. Oh, and what did you learn? A moose knuckle is not what you'd think. <laughs> if I stepped down, I would have more time to breed the corgis. <laughs> Hush! Yes, I can see it now. Charles will step aside, allowing Prince William and I to be crowned and bring in a glorious reign. My rule will be stern, but fair and very fancy. And Your Majesty will finally be able to spend more time with Philip. No, I shall remain queen. <laughs> but what about Rexit? Well, I shall do what the royal family has always done when we faced a crisis. Ignore it and hope it goes away. <laughs> you are is dismissed. I was this close. <laughs> oh, aren't you a sauce box today? Don't you forget it. <laughs> Olympic after school special. What's wrong, Jimmy? Oh, nothing. Wow. Canadian Olympic star Christine Sinclair? Who'd you expect? David Beckham? You're my hero. 
You've won two Olympic medals and you're Canada's all-time leading scorer. But why aren't you out there playing? Uh, I'm horrible. Any advice? Why don't you show me what you've got? Okay. Watch this. <laughs> I'm never going to be a champ like you, Christine Sinclair. Don't give up, Jimmy. It takes years of training to win an Olympic medal. Oh. But if you keep at it, maybe one day you'll be just like me. Yeah? Yeah. going to be as good a soccer player as you, Christine Sinclair. Don't give up, Jimmy. I didn't. I found a position that suits my abilities. Now get off the field! Heads up. Coming up, Yannick Bisson. Okay, settle down, everybody, settle down. With Canada's 150th anniversary coming up, we reenactors are going to be busy. I will be playing Rosemary Brown, prominent Canadian feminist who would look at the headlines today and go, ah! <laughs> Okay, let's take attendance. Laura Secord? Oh, present. Mm. Anybody want a chocolate? These are my favorite hazelnut. Oh, my God, holy cow, the Americans are coming coconut cream. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> um, Nellie McClung. I am Nellie McClung, Canada's crusading suffragette. Women deserve to vote, and I demand a pee break. <laughs> you go, girl. Yeah, well. No, actually, you can, you can go. You can no, go. it's too late. Just move on. <laughs> <laughs> Louis Riel. My fellow reenactors, it's time to revolt against the tyranny of Miss Brown here and her oppressive reenacting rules. Who's with me, yeah? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ah, merde. Un jury. Nice try, Riel. Elijah McCoy, inventor extraordinaire. <clears throat> yes, yes, fellow thespians, I would like to share with all of you my latest invention, the steam engine shake weight. <laughs> <laughs> I have yet to find an application for it. Oh, I'll find one. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mary Pickford. Mary. <clears throat> yes, your commitment to silent movies is commendable, but you can speak. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm here. <laughs> Graham Bell? <laughs> Child, get off your damn phone! <laughs> and lastly, Sir John A. MacDonald. Here! Also here. <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is quite extraordinary, too. Prime Minister McDonald's. <laughs> we all know that Bill has played Sir John A for the last 20 years, but who are you? I'm Yannick Bisson, and I'm new. <laughs> yes, kick him out. Prime Minister McDonald. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm talking to the handsome one. Yeah, I yeah, know. I know. <laughs> well, the one on, on the left. Your, Your left, left or my left? left? <laughs> my left. The one with the puppy dog eyelashes. <laughs> Do you have any experience being an historical actor? Well, for several years now, I've been playing Detective William Murdoch. 
Mur Murdoch? Any anybody heard of him? No. Uh, no. <laughs> it's a TV show? CBC? Mondays? No. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> My co-star is Johnny Harris. Oh, no, yes, yes, he's a fine actor. Mr. Bisson, in this reenactors club, there is only room for one Prime Minister McDonald. You know what, you guys, we gotta settle this thing, okay? Will I fight? <laughs> to the death! <laughs> Gentlemen, choose your weapons. This is just for fun, right? <laughs> fun? Nay, nay, this is serious. This is reenacting. <laughs> Take five paces, turn and shoot. One, two, three. Stop, 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 stop. As Canadians, we need to rise above divisiveness. We need to embrace diversity. We need to stand strong and free. Aye, you have proven yourself true of heart, Mr. Bisson. You should play the role of Sir John A. Macdonald. Thank you. And what shall you play? I will play Pierre Elliott Trudeau. <laughs> uh, just watch that. From the creators of Pokemon Go comes an exciting new politically charged game. Parlymon Go. Parlymon Go is easy to play. Your task, catch all your favorite Parlymon characters. Like Ronichu. Parlymon Go is so much fun, even MPs are getting in on the action. Yes. Hey, Tony, what's up? I just got Democratic Reform Minister Miriam Monsef. Oh, she's a tough one to track down. Yeah, I didn't know whether I was going to find her here, in Iran, or Afghanistan. <laughs> I got Clement on. Hey, David Gustafsson, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just getting ready to play Parlymon, and I have to decide what team I'm going to be on. There's Team Blue, Team Red, and Team Orange. Well, every team has a different special power. Ah, well, since I'm NDP, I'd be interested in what Team Orange's special powers are. Well, no matter how hard they try, they always come in third. <laughs> Security! One of the most popular Parlymons is also the hardest one to catch. Trudeau! If you're lucky, you might even catch a really rare Parlymon. Like Mayleaf! Oh, you stole my Parlymon! I just got Mayleaf! I just doubled the Green Party caucus! Oh. Yeah. Un sujet de la première importance. I just caught a liberal Parlymon egg. Maybe there's going to be enough in there to help pay down some of the debt. Just like everything else about the liberal promises. An empty shell. Parlymon Go, don't leave the House of Commons without it. I sure could have used this during the last election campaign. Hello, YouTubes. I am Vladimir Putin, but my friends call me terrifying. <laughs> what a year it's been. In my continued quest to stroll the world, I hacked the Democratic National Committee. It wasn't that hard. Hillary's password was Pantsuit 2016. <laughs> the, but my cyber attacks have left Kremlin coffers in worse shape than the Russian Olympic Committee's reputation. <laughs> so to help me raise much needed dollars, I have launched my very own Kickstarter campaign. This is my Kickstarter campaign manager. I am Oksana. I'm here of my own volition and not forced or frightened at all. <laughs> Tell uh, imperialist mouth breathers about their precious perks. Our authoritarian tier funders will receive an inspirational 2017 calendar featuring President Putin riding everything from a horse to a jackass. <laughs> Our tyrant funders will receive an official Vladimir Putin bobblehead. The body is too small. You cannot see my 16 pack. <laughs> For our dictator funders, President Putin will name any new territory he conquers after you. And thanks to our latest donor, Syria is now renamed Justin Bieber. <laughs> Congratulations, Biebs. Our despot funders will get the ultimate Putin slumber party experience. 
Together we will snuggle up and watch some of Russia's greatest films, like Dr. Putin, <laughs> Kung Fu Putin 3, and Miss Putin's Home for Peculiar Chernobyl Children. Other perks include... A bromantic spa getaway with me and Steven Seagal. So donate today. Or else I'll hack you too. Coming up, Peter Mansbridge and Ron McLean. This is 2016 News Timeline with Franklin W. Armstrong. January. Canadian Geographic magazine launches contest to name Canada's national bird. The eventual winner, the Grey Jay. Coming in second, the Loon, even though it won the popular vote. <laughs> Thank heavens that never happens in politics. <laughs> February, Barbie gets multiple makeovers to represent all body types. Consumers demand same for Ken. Among the favorites, dad bod Ken <laughs> and pregnant Ken. May, City of Montreal puts one-year moratorium on all of its horse-drawn carriages. As for the future of the horses, not to worry. They've all landed jobs as Uber drivers. <laughs> June, Dr. David Saint-Jacques will become the next Canadian in space. Male astronauts aboard the space station are relieved they will no longer have prostate exams performed by the Canadar. <laughs> August, Australian athletes at Rio Olympics supplied with condoms that protect against Zika virus. Athletes complain the toughest part is getting the mosquitoes to wear them. <laughs> November, the U.S. presidential election. <laughs> that, that's the joke. <laughs> December, Bank of Canada announces Viola Desmond will be the first Canadian woman on a banknote. Yay. It's the $10 bill and will be worth $7.20. <laughs> July 1st, 2017, Canada celebrates its 150th birthday. It also coincides with the retirement of CBC chief correspondent and anchor of the national, Peter Mansbridge. He joins us now. Franklin, good to see you, sir. Hello, Peter, good to see you. Nice hair. Thank you. It, it's rented. <laughs> and now, 150 years of Canadian news. July 1st, 1867, Canada born. July 1st, 1967, Canada celebrates its centennial. July 1st, 2017, Canada will celebrate its sesquicentennial. Sesqu 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 <laughs> Canada will celebrate its sesquicentennial. Uh, Peter, why don't you finish the story? <laughs> Certainly. Canada celebrates... It's 150th birthday. <laughs> 1893, Lord Stanley donates cup to celebrate Canada's love of hockey. Mrs. Stanley is so furious that her favorite bowl is gone, she serves soup in Lord Stanley's hat. 1920, the group of seven has its first exhibition of Canadian landscape paintings, which was much more successful than their previous exhibition of paintings of kittens wearing sweaters. 1965, Parliament approves a new Canadian flag, making the maple leaf the ultimate Canadian symbol. Until Drake. 1968, a young Don Ferguson starts his illustrious career with CBC. Also in 1968, a young Peter Mansbridge starts his illustrious career with CBC. The hair was a rental. <laughs> well, one went on to explain politics to Canadians. And the other is Peter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Mansbridge. <laughs> so... Peter, now that you're retiring, what are your plans? Travel, golf? Actually, you know, I, I'm not retiring. I've just been hired to host Hockey Night in Canada. <laughs> Good evening, welcome to Hockey Night in Canada. I'm Peter. <laughs> what is going on? You're gone. You're, you're kidding me. Seriously, get out. Not again. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, Gord. I uh, brought you a coffee. Thanks, Karen. You didn't have to do that. Oh, no, it's no problem. I was actually just getting my steps in for the day. Fitbit! <laughs> I love it. I've already got 20,000 steps. That's awesome, Gord. Wow. Oh, hey, Karen. Oh, hey, Rick. I got a Fitbit, too, so. That's great. Um, how many steps did you do? 25. 25,000? Yep, yes. 25,000. Yes. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> what is he? A zombie? You're bad. Stupid dumb gourd. Only 25 steps. Gourd! <laughs> Loser. I have all your babies, gourd. What do I do? Safety first. And perfect. Oh, almost forgot. Okay. Night night zombie. <laughs> Morning, zombie. This will not hurt a bit. Oh, bingo! Here, here, here. Check this out. I broke my record. 27,000 steps. Ha! Huh. That's nothing. I got 85,000 steps. Wow, oh, Rick. That's incredible. Yeah, so, um... What say you and I go out and get a coffee, or...? Oh, I can't. I have a date. <laughs> Hello, I'm Fran McTadder with Statistics Canada. Cause, you know, there's nobody better at getting into people's business than a friendly Newfoundlander. <laughs> We're gobsmacked. This year's long-form census response rate was outstanding. The answers you provided helped us to identify and deport anybody who wears cracks with socks. <laughs> and so, to every Canadian who accurately filled out a census, I want to say thank you. And to every Canadian who did not, I want to say welcome to census jail. <laughs> This inmate committed census fraud. Under the question, what is your marital status? He wrote, miserable. <laughs> oh, hang on to your hip waiters. It gets worse than that. Some people didn't fill out their census at all. Please, I haven't seen my family in months. To get parole, listen you, to get parole, you must take the census. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, yes. Name? Oglethorpe. Capital O. Small Goldthorpe. All right. Where were you born? In a hospital. No. What city? Oh, Flin Flon, Manitoba. I'm sorry? Flin Flon, Manitoba. No, I heard you. I'm just sorry. <laughs> Occupation? Better than yours. <laughs> Salary? Oh, no, I don't really like the texture of it. Holy carpenter! Can we just pretend this is anniversary lovemaking and get it over with? Okay, yes, please, yes. Okay, then. Eyes. Two. Thank you. You have no idea how many smart asses give me a color to that question. Well, sir or ma'am, because we're not allowed to guess, uh, you are eligible for parole. Oh, fantastic! When the next census comes out in 2021. What? <laughs> Coming up, the F bomb. Hello, I am Dr. Von Rickengord, inventor of Air Farson's sloppiest weapon. Power up the F bomb. The F bomb's mission is simple. Obliterate 2016's most deserving targets, as suggested online by our Air Force viewers. 
To keep our audience safe, we've covered the front row in a giant condom. <laughs> Don't worry, it's extra thin for your pleasure. <laughs> Assisting me are my colleagues, conjoined twins, Drs. Felicia and Fernando Mossenkoop. Let's go! Start it! Dr. Rick, Rick and Gold. Gold. The twins will be available for sale after the show on Kijiji. <laughs> Prepare to unveil our top targets of 2016. <laughs> Conservative leadership candidate Kelly Leach for suggesting the screening of new immigrants for anti-Canadian values. Kelly, we welcome immigrants with open arms, so I hope you welcome this F-bomb. Next target, the a and spokesman. Can't we just eat a mama burger in peace? <laughs> One F-bomb to go, please. <laughs> Next target, U.S. Olympic swimmer and robbery fibber, Ryan Lochte. Liar, liar, speedo on fire, drop the F-bomb on this truth denier. <laughs> Next. The service providers offering their skinny basic TV packages. Their motto, offer less for more. My advice? Cut their cord. Launch F-bomb. <laughs> Next, the F-bomb target of the year as voted by Air Force viewers. It's not Donald Trump. But it was a landslide victory and I guarantee the vote wasn't rigged. <laughs> and I assure you, it's not Donald Trump. Donald Trump. <laughs> Target of the year gets a custom-made F-bomb with special ammunition. The ingredients are his shredded income tax returns that he'll never release. <laughs> the ultimate Trump cocktail. A couple of shots of vodka. <laughs> a splash of freshly drained swamp water. Healthy dose of locker room sweat. <laughs> because he loves Mexico, guacamole. <laughs> A Trump brand steak. <laughs> With some spray tan for color. And finally, bananas. Pair mixture for liftoff. Hoist ammunition and fill the F bomb. <laughs> when ready, three, two, one. Donald, you're fired. to Roberta Shepard from Maple Ridge, B.C. for your nomination of Donald Trump. To all of you, from all of us at the F-Bomb Squad, all the best in 2017. <laughs> and may the farce be with you. Happy, Happy New Year! Year! Thank <laughs> you.